back. So I'm going to wrap up this series by just getting you guys started with testing your service. So let's have a look at how we can actually start working with service tests, where we can dive into when we call specific things in our service, like get products, we should get the URLs and stuff like that. So we'll try and dive in and figure that part out and then you guys can carry on from there. So let's have a look right now at the actual product service. And if you look at the product service right now, we have some dependencies. So we have to mock those like we did with our product list component early on in the spec file. But let's just start out by seeing what actually happens right now. If you guys remember in one of the previous videos, just to get started, I actually went into each of my service specs files and just out the, the it statement that just tested that everything is ready to be tested, right? The test can actually run. So let's just comment this back in right here. There we go. So it's pretty much just that single test that is default when you create a new service. And when I save this now, it'll of course fail because there's a lot of thing I have not set up yet. So it won't work right now, this test. Let's just try and dump in here. The first thing you'll see is that we need Angular Fire Store to even start running my tests. So I don't have a provider for Angular Fire Store, which pretty much means that I cannot start testing yet. So that's the first thing we wanna kinda of mock. So let's try and do that. Now step one is we're going to look at how we actually set up our code right here. So let's start out by jumping into our previous spec file and there you can actually find all the information you need on how you set up this. So we wanna build a mock kinda of like we have the service mock. We're going to build an Angular Firestore mock. So again, you need to have the same set up like we have right here. We're going to use Jasmine to create the mock and then we're going to start creating these modules and stuff like that as well. So let's try and do that. But my point is just, if you guys need help, you can go and check out this file and it'll give you kind of the overview about what I'm doing right now. Jumping back to my actual file right here, what I'm going to do is outside of the before each right here, I'm going to start creating some files that I need. So first I'm going to need my Angular Fire Store mock, right? Angular Fire Store mock. That's the first thing that I need to create and that'll just be the, of the type any right now. So we need to create that. Now to create it, right now you'll notice before each, all it does is call the test bed. So it uses this Lambda expression to only cost, call the test bed. But I wanna start doing more actions in here. So we're going to change that. So I'll just cut this out and add curly brackets instead. And in there, I'll execute this testbed command. So all I did was pretty much just add the curly brackets because now I can start executing more than a single line of code in here. The first thing I need to do is create my Angular Firestore mock. And I wanna create that using Jasmine. So I'll use Jasmine right here. I'll say create spy. And what do you wanna do? Well, you wanna mention the name or the actual name of Angular Firestore, the, the service I'm providing right here that I wanna mock. And that's Angular Firestore, that's the name of the service. There we go. And if you are in doubt of the name of the service, you can always jump into your actual service and just copy the name you have right here. That's the name of the service that I'm looking for. Let's just jump back to my spec file and just remove this again. And you'll notice this is the exact name we have right here. I'll do a comma. And then the next thing it needs to know is what do you actually want to overwrite, what methods, and you need to have at least one. So for now, we're just going to overwrite the method called collection. Now again, where do you know that name exists? Well, if I jump back again to my product service, if I go down to my code, you'll see the first thing that I call on the Angular Fire Store right here is actually that collection. That's how easy it is. So just jumping back to my code right here. So that's one of the things I'm going to fake inside my mock right here. So now we have a service mock. Now the next thing we need to define, because if I save this, it's still not running, it doesn't know anything about the provider yet, because I haven't explained yet what kind of providers I have. So the next thing I wanna do is inside the configure testing module right here, we're going to start configuring the actual setup that you're seeing inside your uh, product list module right here. So notice all of this information, I need to start specifying the information that I need for my service. And to run my service, I need um, the actual, let's actually go one level further out, the app module, I need to specify that I'm going to use the Firestore module. So let's try and do that in our spec file. So jumping into my module right here, what I wanna do is I wanna explain that I'm going to import something right here, and the import is going to be the Angular Firestore module. Okay, I'll save that, and now it knows that this module is available inside my code, but I'm still not there. I need to do one more thing, I need to explain again a list of providers. So if you, again, if you go back to the spec file for the list component, notice you override some providers right here yourself. Let's just go and do that as well inside this code. So going back to the spec file, I'll create providers, and there I'll start overriding the first provider. And you just do it by adding an object. Now the first thing you need to know is what are you going to provide? 
And in my case, what I'm going to provide is actually going to be the angular, oh, sorry, let's just get rid of that. This guy, the angular fire store, that's the guy I want to provide right here. Just let that add that in there. There we go. And the second thing I want to explain is that I'm going to use the value. Again, you did the exact same thing in, um, in the product list spec right here, use value. And I'm going to use the product service mark, but instead it's going to be the angular fire store mark that I'm going to use. I'll save this. There we go. This is all I had to do to kind of set up a mock for now for the Angular Firestore. We need to do a bit more things, but let's just make things work right here. So now it says I need Angular Fire Storage, and that's kind of not what we need. It's kind of throwing you off right here because the reason that we need this is because we're actually inside our product service using the file service. And the file service, he actually needs the Angular Fire Storage. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to just create a mock for the file service like we had earlier. So back to this guy, and now we have a lot easier time creating a new mock. We can just create a new file service mock right here. File service mock. And that file service mock, we're going to create that again. File service mock equal, and we're going to create the object right here. There we go. And we need to create a file service like this. And the one we want to override Again, if we jump back, we can just get a quick overview of what are we going to override. It seems I need to look at the file service. I'm going to probably call get file URL. I know I need that one. I also need the upload. So let's just start with those two. I'll override get file URL and I will override, whoops, and I'll override upload. That's the ones I'm going to start out with overriding. So now with the file service mark, we can now go and do the same thing down here and create a new provide. And this time for the file service mark, right? So you can keep doing this, uh, of course, until this actually runs. And let's just do a file service right here, file service. And that'll be the file service mark now. File service mark, there we go. And now let's see if that actually helped out with the second part of our code. Boom. Now it's the HTTP client it complains about. So let's try and jump back to the code and figure that one out. So what we actually need to do here is we could mock that, but actually Angular built a mock for us that we can use. So we can actually import a module right here called client testing module. There we go. So now we actually have an HTTP module that can help us test these requests that we're going to make later on. And instead of making our own mock and having to set all this code up, it's amazing that we have this module available right here. So that's the one we're going to use. Now with this HTTP testing module, we can actually get access to a, a HTTP mock that we can use. So let's just create a local reference for it right here. Now this type right here will actually be of the HTTP testing controller. That's the type. And we want to kind of get that type and put it into the HTTP mock right here. So what I'll do is I'll say after the test bed is created, I can actually say the HTTP mock is going to be equal and then I'll get the test bed, get test bed, and then I can actually get this specific uh, HTTP testing controller right here from the testbed. There we go. So now we have that available in HTTP mock and let's see if that's enough to kind of figure all this out and fix all of this. There we go. Now everything is running. We're happy guys and we can even access the mock later on if we wanted to. I don't need this call to kind of make the test run. It's just so I can access it later on if I want to start testing my requests. And of course we want to do that later in our tests. So that's it for this lesson. Now you guys know how to actually set up and make your actual tests run for the service, which kind of failed in the beginning. Now we have access to a lot of mocks that we can start using. And uh, now we can actually start testing our actual service in the next lesson. See you next time. Have fun.